Uh, welcome back guys. Uh, sorry for the abrupt ending of the last video. Um, my phone ran out of memory and then on the same day I had another electrical accident with this printer and um, yeah, killed the, another control board. Two control boards down. It's only been running a week. <laughs> but I'll explain the, the second disaster in a minute. Um, I'll just want to go back to where I was in the last video on the ending of where it where it finished where my, my phone ran out of memory I was explaining what I've got for basically the wiring and the, and the power um, and in the back there you probably can't see it very well but there are three banks of relays uh, four for 20 uh, for 12 volts four for 24 volts and four for 230 volts um, in the back, mounted on a back plate, which is hard to see, is um, some solid state relays. There's actually three in the back there. That's for switching um, mains voltage. And the reason is, is obviously this will hopefully be printing polycarbonate and higher temperature plastics. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, I've had one disaster where I've shorted the board out when it was down here and I touched it with this insulation um, put 24 volts on the 5 volt rail and killed a board uh, the second disaster um, which, well I'll just show you what, basically what happened here's the part that I was making it's a part from a spool holder designed by Sneaky Poo um, get some light on there and uh, yeah, you can basically see in the top of there. I had a problem with the print. I stopped the print and in uh, print run, I went to move my Z-axis and I moved it the wrong way. And instead of the, uh, instead of the platform going down, it went up. And this being a very solid piece and the head was basically underneath, the head went through the center, it ripped the thermocouple cable out and then it crunched the thermocouple cable up with the heater wires and basically crunched them together, broke through the insulation and done exactly the same thing. Put 24 volts on the 5 volt rail of the board and killed another board. So in the space of, I think, yeah, in a week, week just over a week, I've killed two boards through two separate faults both resulting in the same issue 24 volts going down the 5 volt rail uh, admittedly this does, this one was my fault totally I completely just clicked the wrong direction on my z-axis um, yeah and this is geared extremely strongly it's built very strong obviously and it it broke the it did actually smash the glass um, ripped the thermocouple cables out, ripped the thermistor cables out, um, bent the head. Yeah, uh, it's done quite a lot of damage actually, um, and blew the board up obviously, and took all five, uh, all sorry, all four stepper drivers out. So it killed a board, four stepper drivers. The only thing that survived was the LCD. So this was okay. So I've still got that. So I've got another board on the way. But at the moment, the, the printer's out of action yet again. But anyway, whilst I'm uh, talking about the accident, that's what's really happened. I've had two accidents. One where I've shorted it out with this. And another one where I've driven the head up and shorted the cables out. But never mind. Live and learn. I'll uh, make sure that can't happen again. I'm probably going to spring load the bed a lot better. It was spring loaded, but I mean, I clicked about four times to go up in the Z direction and it went up about 40 mil. And yeah, obviously the head being virtually on top of the, of that printed part, it just drove it all the way through and um, smashed everything to pieces. But never mind. I've now got this new heater, which I'll explain a little bit more and I've got a temporary heater in the bottom, I'll explain that on another video and uh, yeah I shall carry on with the video series. I apologise these are raw and crap 
I admit. Um, but I found a lot of videos like this quite helpful on YouTube for me, myself, so that's why I'm just persevering and, and uploading them raw, is because some of the best videos I've used for information are the, are the raw ones that people have put up where they've, they've just made a video of what they've built and what they've done. They've put it up and, yeah, I've learned something and it's, I've used it or implemented their method. So, for now, these videos are just going up raw and I'll, I'll edit them later when I've got more time. But, yeah, this is where I am. It's, it's in a sorry state because it's got no control board. That's where the control board would normally go and it doesn't have one. So, yeah, waiting for another one to turn up and it should be here fairly soon um, so yeah thanks for watching I'll get on and do more videos on the other bits that I'm doing because whilst I've been waiting for the boards to turn up I've been doing other things so uh, yeah still a very early stages still a prototype and a bag of nothing at the moment but thanks for watching and uh, yeah I'll uh, update you very soon cheers guys thank you